So I want to talk about the video pages on your website. On the video page, you can see there's not a video. This is because the embed feature uh, requires that you click in to see the video. We're basically using a blog channel here to publish the, the video in. So it's up to you to set up the video in the background so that it's working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide a couple of things in here. First of all, the uh, tree here for the blog. So I can go from the home page manage blog posts. I can also come in from communicate publishing posts and this is where the blog posts are. This is all of the blog posts basically. So if I for example open up this one which is the second one. This is in the news channel. If I want to see just the blogs from a specific channel I can go to the blog and for example go videos here and at the bottom I've got the two posts. I've got this, these little uh, tabs here and it shows me the two posts that are in the that in that specific blog rather than looking at all of them. So when I open it you can see if you click on the far right source edit button you can see the uh, code is in here. Now if I want to write something I could do that there hit save and let's go see our our blog oh this is on the video did a product review for Excel suite so there's the there's the text that I added to the video and now here's the tricky part I'm going to show you how to add an image to the front end so when you're looking at it here if you want to add if you want to control over what gets shown here including an image you can go to the second tab in the blog post and you can see excerpt is one of the one of the uh, items so if I just click on my image gallery and go to my file manager I can pick an existing image out of the image manager and if I don't have one already I can upload one to the site since I wasn't clever enough to make an image up front, I'm just going to use this little arrow hand. And you can see it renders it there. So now if I hit save, I should be able to come back here to the video page and upload it and see the image that I just put. And there you go, you can see the image. Uh, we'll read more. Hello, click there. And we get the product review. You could have also taken a screenshot of this and made a thumbnail out of it, uploaded an image and put that there had I done that first, but uh, that worked out just as well anyway. So that's how if you want to make this page more visual with the video, you can add a, a still shot of the video and you can even make that clickable. So for example, if I copied this link location and I went back to where this image was, I can make that a link to where the link location was. Now when I look at the page, if I refresh that, clicking that image will take me into the post as well, so that just makes it a little bit more user-friendly. That's how you dress up your video page.